Welcome to Stanford Scholar Initiative's research talk on Bayesian active learning for posterior estimation. Here's a quick primer to posterior estimation. Given some data, we need to estimate the model which best explains the data. This is also known as posterior estimation. As we can see, the posterior is directly proportional to the product of likelihood and prior. The problem of posterior estimation is important as it is the key step in inferring a model from real world data. A better posterior estimation provides a better model to explain data. The problem is difficult because for complex models, the posterior is analytically intractable. And finding approximate solutions while maintaining efficiency is a challenge. Posterior estimation is heavily applied in computational physics and cosmology to make inferences about cosmological parameters given observations. The paper focuses on active posterior estimation in a Bayesian setting. Existing methods depend on generating samples to represent the posterior, which is inefficient. The research paper presents two methods, namely negative expected divergence and exponentiated variance for deciding where to evaluate likelihood and demonstrate its efficiency with respect to other methods. Bayesian active posterior estimation is based on the multivariate Gaussian probability distribution over function. In the diagram, data is shown as black squares. The colored lines are samples from the process. The black dotted line represents the mean of the process and the gray shaded area covers twice the standard deviation at each input. In our case, a sample represents the log joint probability distribution of model parameters and observations. The infographic illustrates the working of the algorithm. A GP for the log joint probability of parameters and the observations is initialized with prior mu zero and k zero. At time t, a new point from parameter space which maximizes a utility function is sampled. A likelihood at this point is obtained and subsequently the posterior is estimated. In NED, we initially build uncertainty models for likelihood and posterior. We choose a point which causes highest reduction and divergence between these models and the next estimate. The first expectation captures our uncertainty over likelihood, while the second captures our remaining uncertainty over probability. Expectations in the NED utility above are computationally intractable. They can only be approximated empirically by drawing samples and require numerical integration, although it performs well in the experiments performed for comparison with existing algorithms. In EV, we choose the point with the most uncertainty. We use a GP on the log joint probability. At any given point in this GP, we have an associated posterior variance of the GP. However, this variance corresponds to the uncertainty of the log joint probability, whereas our objective is in learning the joint probability. Therefore, unlike in usual GP active learning methods, the variance of interest here is in the exponentiated GP. The figure on the left has samples drawn from the GP uncertainty models. The right figure has the same samples after exponentiation. After exponentiation, high variance in the low likelihood regions are squashed and low variance in the high likelihood regions are blown up. Comparison of NED slash EV against MCMC DE, ABC, MCMC R, and RAND procedures for the 1D and 2D synthetic experiments respectively. Proposed methods outperform existing methods and other heuristics by orders of magnitude on these simple experiments. Evaluate performance by the ability to estimate certain linear functionals. Again, EV and NED outperform the existing algorithms. Supernova data is used for inference on three cosmological parameters, Hubble constant, dark matter fraction, and dark energy fraction. The KL for RAND decreases slowly as it accumulates points at high likelihood region, very slowly. MCMCR performs poorly since it has only explored part of the high likelihood region. 
For NED slash EV, after an initial exploration phase, the error shoots down. MCMC has several high likelihood points, but its queries are focused on a small region of the space. Brand does not have many points at high likelihood regions. EV has explored the space fairly well and at the same time has several queries at high likelihood regions. The framework is for expensive black box likelihood expansions. The methods outperform the algorithms currently in use. When likelihood evaluations are expensive, treating posterior estimation in an active regression framework enables us to be significantly query efficient. Thank you for listening to Stanford Scholar Initiatives Research Talk. Make sure to visit www.scholar.stanford.edu for more talks on different domains of technology.